Yellow, but genuine apple here. Hello, yellow. I almost failed. I almost failed my own quest. No, that is not even acceptable. Yellow. Welcome to the video. And today, as I said in my last video, will be a hints and tips to start off Minecraft. Because although I haven't done many games on gameplays on this channel, I've played this game enough to know a little tiny bit about it. I'm not an expert by any measure, but I'm better than a beginner. Let's say intermediate. Basically, I don't know every crafting recipe, but I know what goes into them. Well, most of them anyway. So, shall we get into it? I think we shall. So, this is basically a world where I, that I have created on creative to basically do tests. It's actually called test slash research. Everything that's in this sort of line uh, I made recently. And obviously I've got generated structures that only pop up at the corner of my screen for some reason. So this was me sort of looking at blocks and everything. But the main thing for today is to do a basic survival house. So what goes into thinking of a basic survival house? Well, first, you have to consider what you want in the basic house. So you want a bed, you want a furnace, you want a crafting table, and then you want a chest. Obvious. Obvious. Obviously. So, then, we talk about uh, the general house. But one of the main things, and the first things, uh, first hint and trick. Doors. Now... You may be thinking, Riz, what is so interesting about this door? I think that to myself. I also think, why the hell am I talking like this? But, fair enough. Right. The door, as you can see, is positioned on the left-hand side, as I look at it, of this block. I'm going to demonstrate from the other side to think, if I was coming out, and the door was sort of this side of the block, so if I was, this was me going out, this basic tip will ha might help you in some situations because as you go out, you're not stuck trying to get out there. So you'll uh, uh. this. So if I do this, so if I'm here and I come out, I'm straight. I can straight away go there and there. And also, as you walk in. Uh, it is harder to get in, I'll grant you that. Which is probably the primary purpose. But, you know. Generally speaking, having a door on the outside is better. Just It just is. So then I moved on to this, putting it underground. The 3-2. And basically the same concept, except this was me just thinking a bit. So same concept. For that above there. And obviously I thought, well, that, what's the point in doing that when I could just put it all the way on the ground? Which is basically what I did behind me and what I'm going to show you here. So this is my survival tip uh, for a basic house. Obviously on the real one, I can't remember what I've done so far. But, so obviously you only have to put a little bit of effort and you can generally build the house out of the dirt that you dug up. And so that's just a house bit and then this is obviously your way out, it gives you a bit of space and an entrance I suppose. But um, the thing is is that you want to expand obviously eventually and this is what this is. This is your sort of final development piece if you will. I mean you could put the only other addition for me would be to put stairs along here so you get out very easily. Um, then what the reason I've got this little sort of porch thing is because you can do one of two things which is really helpful and I think it's what I've started in my uh, survival world is one side you could put a mine and then the other side you could sort of dig down and make extra rooms which is always handy and obviously I've got the basic structure and that exactly the same and obviously I've got the door on the outside so this time I can actually jump out and get back on top of here so this is like this is where that outside door starts to come into its own. I told you, didn't I? Yes, I did. 
Right, so, what I'm going to do for you now is build the house. I'm thinking, Ray Shiva genius. I mean, who would have thought actually building what you were showing us to build might help us? I know. I'm so clever. But in all seriousness, let's just get on with it. So you want a 3x4 hole. So you got three blocks along and then four blocks along like that. This is your house. Boom. Then you want to, out of one of the th sides with three on, you want to put one. Then, so this is your door. Then you want to put a row of five. Right, so we're going two out either side. This is starting your sort of front garden, if you will, sort of leaving area. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you sort of the best way. Cause By the way, I think I've said 3-2-2 methods so far. And what that means is I want like a row of two, then a row of two, and then a row of three for when I come out my house. So that's the second layer. Let's do the third layer. So generally speaking, this house, like the point of this house is that you can make it very quickly when you get into a world to survive that first night. And if you don't get a a bed in time or something like that. So I'm making it like this, obviously you'd have to do it uh, on foot and like skate around the edges in survival. Well obviously for the purposes of showing you, I will continue to do this. Actually hold on. And then obviously I think I've got all the basics here. So what I want is that there. That there. That, no, wrong. That there, that there. Then uh, that, there, that there, that there, and that there. So there's your simple. I would put one there. So there's your house. That's the basics, right? Then obviously you want you get four torches when you first get in. If you cut down a tree, you use charcoal, and then obviously you want. Uh, screw you. A door. Uh, why, why am I crafting? Please help me. Um, so you want that. So then, so this is how it looks. So you saw that, you want a 3x4, and I saw you the layers. That you don't really have to do this. And basically what you expand to is... So that's just a basic house. What you expand to, I mean... You could even, theoretically, if you don't want fancy going out your front to start making extensions, because you are already underground, like that third layer, that's your top layer. So you could, theoretically, go out like the back and then go down a couple of layers just to make sure you don't bump into anything. And that's how you could make your stone. Then you could make sort of a room and sort of branch out, as they would say. I mean, I'm just quickly demolishing things. I don't even know. That's not even an even room, but I don't care. So, like, you could sort of branch out into the back of your house and, like, make a mine and some extra rooms here if you're a bit afraid of going out the front first. And what I basically want to show you finally is the front edit. If you're going to... I think that's probably much better, actually. So there's another development. Probably going out the back would be much easier because then you're not going to have to be outside and you can do that during the first night rather than going to sleep if you don't have a bed. So like, it's something sort of to think about. Then what I want to show you is finishing this off to the one that I had over there. So you've got that. So then what you want to do is obviously you want a two layer. So you're gonna go two out to the side and then what you're going to go do is go all the way to this boundary and go again. So that helps a lot. So then you do that and then do that. So that's a 1-1 one, one at the sides, which is fine. Because then you can do all the stairs. So. You probably only need to do that at the sides. I mean, you could branch them out a bit. 
but you know start that's all good and in fact that sort of gives you a better reason to do stairs so i'm just sort of editing this now and sort of giving you sort of potential building on options so you want to do that that and that oh god damn you rain um so you get my point i suppose So yeah, I'll just finish doing this, and then for those of you with OCD, I actually I think I think that looks rather nice when that green comes up. I reckon that'll look alright. So then you could escape quite easily, exit. Yeah. So there you go. There's your basic survival house with a few expansion options. Does super does. The apple super meat boy, the closest thing I could find to an apple. Agree with me? To nod? Yes. There we go. We do a spin. So. As I s What? Why, why are you following me into the house? I've destroyed something. I shouldn't have the door uh, I'm so bad at this goodbye fair enough